LeBron, as you take the court for your first game, how are your nerves tonight? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I got a little nerves in my stomach right now, but you know, once the jump ball starts up, I'll be ready to play. 20 years later, Nike brought back the first ever LeBron signature shoe. How does it perform today compared to all these shoes with modern technology? Let's find out. Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the retro release of this classic shoe, the Nike Zoom Generation. Retail price is set at 180 US dollars. Uh, it is LeBron's very first shoe with Nike. This one, they're calling it the first game colorway, while it was technically not worn in his first ever NBA game. At that game against the Kings, he wore a white and black one. This white and red colorway was worn during his first home game in Cleveland, to be exact. I think there's also another colorway or two dropping this year. They did release these briefly back in 2017, but I never got my hands on a pair. So this is my very first experience with this shoe, and I was just really excited to bring these onto the court. This year marks LeBron's 20th season in the league. He's now on his 20th signature shoe, the LeBron 20, and the newest LeBron Next Gen, in a sense, matches how they named these. You know, Zoom generation, and now two decades later, onto the next generation. Anyways, if you're thinking about getting a pair for yourself, also rocking them on the court maybe, here's some details and more about how they perform. They come in the vintage Nike shoe box, not the orange one with the big logo, not a LeBron box either. And I assume that was just how they came back in the days. Please correct me if I'm wrong. On a first look, some strong early 2000s basketball shoe vibes. It's got kind of a chunky style, a mixture of materials on the upper, including some synthetic leather and a mesh panel with a Nike swoosh on it. On the back, it's got a shiny reflective heel clip that is protected by this sticker for you to peel off. A pretty cool detail that adds a little bit of a premium feel to it. A LeBron logo on the tongue, and the toe box is mainly a pretty hard leather. Breathability is a concern on these, especially compared to shoes that have a predominantly mesh base. The mesh panel also sort of wraps up the phylon midsole near the midfoot area. Looking at the also, it has some herringbone pattern, and you can see part of the big carbon fiber shank plate in the middle. It's a very sturdy also. I will probably end up wearing these more casually, but we'll get into the trash and performance very soon. Other than that, you have the date that he wore the shoe for the first time, on November 5th of 2003, a stitch inside the collar area, along with LeBron printed on the insoles. Aside from the mesh tongue, the upper does not bend easily at all. And my size 10 and a half pair weighs 475 grams on the heavier side as expected but just to give you a reference the Harden volume 7 is 500 grams so as to how the zoom generation performs on the court i was actually pretty impressed with two things the amount of heel compression and also the weight well it's not light or anything at all but it's also not a miserably heavy shoe on feet core feel is not so good landing feels pretty stiff and transition going from front to back isn't ideal but these were all what I expected. It actually has decent comfort once you step your foot into them. Just know that given this hard leather material, if you didn't like the fit in the beginning, it's not gonna break in over time. Traction was actually not too bad from my experience. Uh, given this type of an old school outsole, I was honestly expecting pretty bad traction on these, but I was fine, even on a dusty court. Clean court, no major issues either. Like it also has zero squeak to it, but it works fine. Uh, like I haven't had a case where I was really slipping in these. With the fit, they are true to size, and going true to size was just the right fit for me. Not too snug, not too loose, and uh, right around average width. Another good thing that you might be able to tell already is that stability is excellent. This shoe just kind of feels like a mini tank. Very sturdy upper construction, so the support is there. Uh, just remember that if you much prefer a lightweight shoe with a flexible upper, uh, this would be the complete opposite. But for a shoe that was first released 20 years ago, it's definitely usable in today's standard. Overall, I think this shoe does well for its age if you do plan on playing in these, even though they didn't add any modern technology onto it. Traction and cushioning can both get a pass, and it's not too heavy and chunky, like the Crazy One, you know, the Kobe shoe from Adidas. It's also a great sneaker to have in the collection, especially if you're a LeBron fan. So my opinion has been very positive towards this year's Zoom generation. But let me know how you feel about these down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.